Hello everyone, and welcome back to Caves of Quad. It's been kind of a bit, hasn't we? Uh, <laughs> since we're here at the Rust Well, I'm gonna assume we're gonna go down in, but... Stairway down? Is that the stairway up? Oh, we're in, okay. I misread that as a stairway up instead of the st stairway down instead of stairway up. Uh, oops. Man, I'm gonna get back into things. I think we're doing fairly well for ourselves, but not quite as deep into the game as I really want to be. Level... Wait, are you level 16 or 14? That's kind of high to be over here, but alright, <laughs> I guess <laughs> guess we'll just kind of waltz through here and get get out of here when we're done. So, honestly, I wasn't certain if I really wanted to uh, keep playing this because it feels very low effort on my end. I, I just kind of kick back, relax, and play a little case of quad. And you know, that's an experience that's really fun for me. But for you guys watching at home, I, I don't know. Should I try a little harder? Who knows? In case, here we are. We're playing the game anyway, so it's not really a big deal, I guess. I could just keep posting it up for my own fun for you guys to follow along the adventure because you know what? Someday, hopefully soon, we'll start making it to places I've never been before. For now, though, the rust well is very much somewhere I've been before. I just... Yes, yes, thank you. How much wire do I have? I have a rainbow weave cloak? Holy crap. When I get that? And why do I have not... Why do I have that equipped? On back, I have a Isakari banner. Oh, okay, because I was traveling across the desert. I probably didn't want to get shot. Well, the Isakari are not super deadly? Wow, this is good. Old destruction squad going over there. Freeze this leech. There we go. Sift through this trash. Oh, that's right. We didn't come over here until we had the trash ability. So now we can get all kinds of garbage. I, can, I love it. Spider. No, no. Yes, kill plants. There we go. Up and down, up and down, up and down. We're going to try and blast both of these Kudazu. Like, unlock, bam. Darn. Well, I got one of them. <laughs> Better than nothing. I don't really want to lose any of my weapons, so we should probably just head down to the lower level. Now that we've got the better wire anyway. Because I think we still need 150 feet of wire, was it? How much do I even got? Uh, it got 50 feet. I need 100 more. To head down at least one layer or hit up the other zones of the rust wells as well. Either way, I need to kind of travel a bit and find out what's lying around. And sit through all the sweet, sweet trash. I mean, how could I not get the trash? <laughs> it's basically like free loot. Why not, right? Should be a staircase down over here, I think. I think I passed it. Yeah, there we go. Down we go. Oh, uh, down we go. There we go. Accidentally hit the up key as well as the down key. Let's go ahead and give him a quick... Oh, I didn't want to phase. I could phase through walls, but I think it's probably a better idea that I don't do that. There we go. And I can't freeze them when I'm out of phase with them. This is how phasing works, you know? Okay, freezing ray. I gotta remember I can do that, though, because it's a very useful skill to be able to... You know, phase through matter. For all, what better way to avoid taking damage than to be in a completely different realm of existence? Trick you learn from Naruto. <laughs> I'm hungry. Uh, look at Kodazu stems. I'm not sure if this does anything if I just eat it. So let's eat it. Like I don't know. I'm not sure if it does anything, but I'm gonna eat it anyway. <laughs> yeah, let's just get that. Take all, yes, please. No, 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 just, just grab it. I, I don't really care. But the Kudazu, they can't really reach me anyway. And they're worth a whole whopping two experience points, so, you know, not really worth fighting unless you want to avoid getting rusted, which I definitely do. But, you know. Let's grab that. Is that an enemy bear? I think that's an enemy bear. Yep. He's pretty hostile, but he's not strong enough to stop me, so we're just going to shoot him a couple times. Oh. Perfect. And head on out. 
Now, rifles in general are supposed to be a lot better than than pistols are, but I just kind of like like the aesthetic of pistols. I just I love being the gunslinger running out with, with you know double pistols and whatnot. <laughs> Call me a child if you want, but I, I don't know. I just like it. And a rifle's cool, but it doesn't feel quite the same way, you know. Still, they are very, very powerful and well worth carrying around if you find one. Oh, that's not cannibals? That's animal, enemy cannibals. Well, freeze. Uh, crack it. Crack a ledge, paint a club, and a human corpse. Oh. Gets. Human corpse. Let's see what he got here. And the lore of the ancient Reshef. The Gar widened, the final plague afflicted the land, the Gersh Nephilim rose from their cradles in the moon stair and slouched towards Quad to eat its young. Reshef rose to meet them in battle and cast them back. Well, good job, Reshef, you did it. Unfortunately for us, they're back and Reshef ain't here this time, so it's up to us to throw back the Gersh, I think. Though I'm not certain if we even can do that yet. That's like main story stuff that I'm not even sure is active yet. I know you can encounter a, like, legendary Gersh Queen or something weird like that. Though, I'm not sure if there's any way to actually kill her. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do that anytime soon. So we'll see about that. In the meantime, let's be a disgusting cannibal and eat a human corpse. Yum. I feel sick. What a shame. Uh, freeze, freeze. You know, it is kind of strange to see bats in a, in a cave. Because the main advantage bats have over most other creatures is that can fly, you know? Though, when, they, when they're in a cave, that doesn't really matter too much because they can't fly high enough to hurt it to matter, you know? <laughs> but, oh, my mouse is still on the screen. But, I guess it's not a huge deal? I don't know. Let's get this. I'm going to... Last this guy. There we go. Yes. Cracked lens. Find all the good stuff. L loot all the garbage. I love garbage. It's so useful. Let's get the skills for it anyway. Make a way out. But their main skill is flying, and they can't really use it to a very good effect inside a cave. But, of course, being a bat, it kind of makes sense for them to be in a cave. But, you know, it's kind of hit, hit and miss. Oh. I found the lore... The location of Ashkelon, the goat folk haunt for a settlement. Interesting. And I found a copper nugget. Hey. I will take this copper nugget. Thank you. And you, I'm going to freeze you. Bam. Look at that. Beautiful. A glow sphere. I mean, I might as well take it, right? I think a glow sphere you can carry in your hand to... Yeah, I got a fist. I might as well carry a glow sphere, right? <laughs> Get a little bit better light. Look, look how much better that light is. I think that's like two extra squares compared to the night vision I currently have. Though it is taking up a light uh, hand slot, which is not exactly ideal. Blaze injector. I never really use drugs because the drawbacks are usually not good. That, so I don't usually take them. But I'm not even sure what Blaze actually does. Does it raise your temperature? I mean, it sounds like it does, but does it? I don't know. Centipede, we blast him. Oh, that's a lot of Kodazu. I don't really want to rust my stuff, so we're just going to wait for it. Or let the bats do it. They're pretty hostile to these Kodazu. Get them, bats, get them. Go ahead and freeze these two. Like, no, oh, no. Oh. Unlock, please. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Send the bats in. Let them do their job. Honestly, they're... Being a huge help. <laughs> I feel like I should pay them or something, but I'm not gonna because I... Ah, uh, yep. And that's exactly what we didn't want to happen. Okay. Apply to my rifle, please. Oh, inventory. We have the fix-it spray foam, our rifle, which is... Yeah. Bam. Did, did it work? That should work, right? Yeah, there we go. I fixed it. Good. We got our rifle back. 
which is great because that's our main weapon. Losing it was not great, but that's again, the problem with Quidazu is they can just attack your equipment, not necessarily you. So, whew. Good thing got that fixed. Gotta keep a better eye out for that in the future, too. Uh, there should be a way down around here somewhere. Stinger plants. Oh. Go ahead and freeze this guy. So, look at that beautiful. Take the trash. I took the trash. And then I'm going to go ahead and rifle through it. Find nothing. Oh, well. Oh, well, we tried. Now, that was a prickler bush over there, the kind of yellow thing. Though I'm not certain if there was anything uh, worthwhile in it. Ooh, you got a lot of trash. I will take your trash, my friend. And you can have... Uh, you can have... Some wooden arrows. Yeah. Perfect offer. Perfect. If all the trash you can ever want, let's go ahead and just rifle through all of it. Hope we get something good. Nothing. Nothing. They're kind of like little gotchas, but uh, not. <laughs> they found the clues and terminal location of Vok Acreage. So I farm, I guess. Nice. I mean, I will take that. Should be able to break down some parts too. So we already got like what three locations. We only got three locations and at least a couple like dozen piles of junk, which honestly is pretty great. All from this one dive, and there's three other well cores to jump into too. Another ten. I'm gonna need. Oh, there we go. That's a big one. Perfect. Micro microchip. Yeah, we're getting a lot of microchips and whatnot. No nothing like impressive. No like plus three or whatever parts. But we are getting pretty good stuff. In the meantime, let's just go ahead and just break this bad boy down. Motherboard and a fractured chip. Every like D, I think it is, gives you something like 40 bullets if you get the recipe for bullets. Problem is. So we're not really a great tinkerer. We won't be able to understand what the recipes do until we, well, find out when we get what they are. We have to identify them first and then try and read the recipe, which is the weirdest thing. Like, why can't I just read the recipe before I buy the disc, you know? Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I would like to know what the thing creates before I... <laughs> would you buy a recipe book without any name on it? Like, oh, it's a recipe book. It's a recipe book for... Who knows what, but I'm going to buy it anyway, <laughs> apparently. I don't think I would, I would take that deal, thank you very much. Did they already found the steroids down? Yes. There are no steroids down, okay. Lots and lots of quidduster here. I could just shoot them all, but that doesn't feel right. There we go, shoot that one. And that one. There we go. That one. There's a lot of them. An absolute ton of them. I should pretty easily be able to shoot that guy. There we go. Do a little dance. Get our charge up. And... There we go. Oh, another set. Sheesh, how many are there in this tube? There we go, a little bit more. Well, I didn't want to do that. Don't get too close to them, otherwise I will get rusted to all heck. And we're free, yes. Enemy plant. Give him peace of my mind. There we go, nothing else here. And we're out. What? What is that? Is that a leech? Alright, I mean... Uh... Freeze, baby. There's slime, okay. It could be way worse if it's like putrescent or something like that. I could get sick from that. But regular slime, I don't think it does a whole lot. Well, rip that. That. 
and I meant to attack the Jilted Lever, but that's fine. Jilted Levers have like a 3% chance to drop a, bloss a Blossom, which is actually an amazing item that can make you... It lets you craft uh, Love Injectors, and I believe Uber Nostrum as well, so it's just really dang good. Uber Nostrum is a really powerful item, and Love Injectors allows you to befriend creatures you wouldn't normally be able to, like slimes, I think. I think so, anyway. Or you're just not, you know, powerful enough to actually convince them with your psychic powers, and you can just hit them with the love injector. Well, guess what? You're fine. <laughs> They're not your friend anyway. Freezing rain. Go ahead. And yeah, nice. I believe you can have any number of creatures fall in love with you as well, so it's not really... So it's not really that bad to... Oh, that's a crab. To use it on that one as well. I'm not sure if I'm actually hitting him. Whew. Am I standing in? I'm covered in slime. This is just slime, though. Nothing too serious. A lot of slime in here, though. Let's go ahead and freeze this part. Sorry, Spider-Man. But you're worth 25 experience and are no real threat to me, so I will gladly just take that free XP. Meanwhile, we are just swimming through absolutely tons of slime in here. I completely missed that Quidazer somehow. Ah, uh, jeez. Uh, okay, come on. Come on, come on. Get, get him out of here. They're honestly not that threatening, just very annoying. The ability to, you know, completely destroy my equipment. Oh, boy. Can I shoot him? Answer says... Nope. I don't really want to waste too many bullets either. I think I slipped on that slime too. There we go. Alright, let's just go. Yes, all the free garbage. I'm gonna take a dunk in the water. Wash all this junk off me. Whew. I'm not sure if it really makes a big difference to cover yourself in uh, water. Because, like, you can't get, like, water stains, but I don't think it does anything. Shoot that. It's not even within line of sight. Why are you talking to shoot that? Perfect. Look at myself. I am covered in slime and really, really gross. Slime and blood covered. Oh man. <laughs> well, and number eight, and number three. And he's dead. Good. Whew. And with a freezing ray. Ooh. Blood, slime, and water, apparently. We are just stuffed to the gills with, with absolute ooze. I want to get that trash, though, eventually. It's still dripping slime. Which is unfortunate, but it's going to have to do. I don't like garbage so bad. I need the garbage I want to get. What does this thing do again? I forgot what it does. I think it gives you a chance to reflect, yeah, light damage, okay. I'm not certain what creatures you can attack with light, but it sounds pretty useful to be immune, basically, to attacks. But only 50% chance, so this is not amazing. Still, it's a very valuable item, and I'm gonna hold on to it, at least for the time being. Because after all, I could probably mod it later to become more useful as well. Like, add frost resistance, or fire resistance, or whatever else, you know? One more turn. And free. Ah, I missed it. Okay. And freeze. There you go. Hit the aim a little bit past where they actually are in order to get them. Oh, the slime's here. Not enough to shoot. Just gonna have to shoot them the hard way. Make sure to keep your gun loaded at all times. After all, you never know when you're gonna need it. There's so much slime down here. Huh? Like something's fighting down there. Quidazu and a beetle bum. Beetle bums are pretty useful. You can trade them stuff if you like just drop like a single lead slug on the ground and let them pick it up. You should be able to trade with them pretty easily. But we'll see. How's oh, the Oh he's hostile, what now? What happened? Ooh, he hurts too. Die, would you? Alright. Oh, he's not even dead still. Dang. This is one tough bug. Alright. Trash. 
Crash Cracked Lands. Oh, what was that? Why don't I invite? Did I just kill a bat? Oh, whoops. Maybe I missed my shot trying to kill this. Oh, I just blocked something else. What was that? What did I just shoot? There we go. Okay. What am I even looking at? Unlock. So I'm trying to shoot this. I might be able to. Yeah. There's treasure over there. Yes, treasure. Give it to me. Sakari Banner, Glow Sphere. Glow Spheres are actually fairly valuable, so they're well worth grabbing if you get a chance. Uh, other than that, not sure why you bother. I'm using up a lot of bullets just for no real reason. It can't be, it can't be wasteful with the bullets, honestly. How many do I got? 212? Sounds like a lot. It is not. I'm going to bleed through that real quick if I keep doing it this way. Okay. Where's the darn wire, man? Give me that copper wire. I need it. Oh, I didn't even do that, but okay. I'm now over here, I guess. Freezing rain. Perfect. Okay. Well, I'm here, so I might as well start blasting, right? Yeah, shoot that. Oh, what did I just do? Uh-oh. Uh, I think I might have just stunned myself. Well, I guess I'm going to be stunned here for a while, probably. Hopefully I don't get... Yep, yeah, there we go. I didn't mean to throw my stun gas grenade, and I kind of wanted that for... other things, but... <laughs> I guess I could just stun gas myself. That'll be fine. Yeah, I wanted to reload my gun, not hit... Try uh, I, I hit... I hit, uh... Th throw rather than reload. Oh. Hey, buddy, you got anything to trade? No, I actually don't. He doesn't want to talk to me. He wants to fight. That's Trey. What do you got? You got a cracked nugget? And not much else. Okay. I got a lens. Not much I really want. I'll just leave him alone. I wonder if one of them could have the wire. Oh, here we go. Some forgotten ruins. Great. Over here we have a fry processing core, some wire, some more wire. Yes, I got all the feet. Yes, 200 feet of wire. Good. Okay, that means we can leave and just be on our way home. Yes. Up the stairs we go. Freeze. Ice, ice, baby. I guess I could phase through the walls if I really wanted to. I don't really like taking that chance, though, because phasing is something you don't really want to do if you're not certain you're going to be able to make out of it pretty easily, you know? Oh, I wanted to go up. Thank you very much. Okay, here we go. The stairs. Good. I'm completely doused in, in slime. Ah, the surface. Good. Let's take a quick dip. Clean all your items. Good. There we go. We're clean again. Whew. There's wire here, but I'm actually just going to leave because I don't want to be here anymore. Or I'm going to get lost. <laughs> uh, typical of me, right? In the forest, the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Oh, hello. That is a nasty looking bug. It's also going to be a very dead looking bug in the next second or two. Good. I guess if I had lost my rifle, I could just go find another one. Because the Isakari are not exactly tough. But I don't really want to take the risk that I have to get into a lot of fights. Because the gun really is my main weapon. You know? I could just kind of walk in a circle for a while and use Freezing Ray over and over again. But that's not the most reliable technique. Because you need a lot of space for that to work. When I could just, you know, pull the trigger on the gun a couple times to kill something. Not a lot here. It was a choppa, and from now we should be basically done. Argive is restocked. Good. Let's see what you got, Argive. Here's the wire. Yes. 
Uh, accept your task. Yeah, we're gonna go with the droid scrambler. But first, let's trade. He sometimes has really, really powerful, like, yeah, the symbiotic body fill here. Really powerful stuff, but... Right now, it looks like it's not too useful. Counterweight, flashbang, it's a Kari rifle, so I can make my own rifle, I guess, if I wanted to. That'd be pretty useful to have if I needed to, you know, make rifles very often. Because if my current one breaks, you know, and I can't fix it, well, I'll just make a new rifle, right? Makes sense to me. Buy some bullets. He's got really expensive tubes here, so those are probably a rocket launcher of some kind. Which I definitely won't be able to afford. Some water skins. You just want to buy water skins. We always want these. Nuggets. Why not, right? Sell the glow sphere. And the extra wire strands we don't really need. Get them out of here. We don't need them. You still have the rainbow weave cloak, but I'm not sure if I really want a whole lot of these. Could also stems well worth selling. Uh, nuggets, nothing else. We don't have anything in the recoiler, which sucks. But we have plenty of batteries, so we should be fine. I'll just sell the fidget one. I don't really need this. Anything else I really, really want? I think we have basically far better equipment ourselves than what he's got. Though I guess I could just take these and identify them. Offer. Yes, please. There we go. Let's see what we got. We already know what fix it spray foam is, so these are gonna be like random grenades. Freeze grenade. There we go, not bad. And a poison gas grenade, sweet. Poison's pretty nasty, so I think it's probably worth it. Not sure what that actually is, but it's something. Yeah, if I could afford a symbiotic butterfly, that'd be great. But it's gonna be a little while out. It does have his own stuff he could trade for. Be able to make love injectors would be very nice. I want, I want this eventually anyway, so let's try and buy that. Sell the grenades, we don't really need them. The Yonder Cane, I... It gives you a random teleportation when you use it, right? I don't think I really need that, but it, it might be good to hold on to it anyway. Who knows? Hand over all our nuggets, why not? We don't need them. Got plenty of water skins. Does he have water skins? No. Okay. So we could sell him. Spare chem cells? I'm pretty likely to find these, so I might sell well. And the Yonder Cane, whatever. Bam. No. No, actually. Let's hold up. let's hold off on selling this. Keep that and take the hit to our water supply. We got plenty of water anyway. Let's learn how to make love injectors. Very good. Boom. Now, if I have to, I can try and convince certain creatures to join me through the power of love. Alright. Let's take a quick look around. I do a quick, like, patrol around Joppa. Get lost, <laughs> as usual. Oh, boy. Though, Joppa should be a pretty, like, forgiving zone to just walk around in, so I don't think I'm going to be that hard up. Oh, I found some fraud ruins. And you know what? How about I leave it here for the next episode, huh? Because these ruins have a chance of just being full of musket turrets, and I'd probably die. <laughs> we'll find out, huh? Anyway, have a great day, and I'll see you guys next episode. This is fun to do. I'll, I'll probably keep doing this anyway. So long! <laughs>